How's it going, everyone? Maryland here. That's right. It's time for more of Maryland's Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke. Last time, I made my way through Route 12 over here, caught some cool Pokemon, and uh, yeah, I am just about to enter Route 13, I think it is? I don't actually remember. Well, here's a look at my Pokemon. Uh, yeah, they're dangerously close to that level limit. In fact, some of them already are there. <laughs> oh, man. But that's okay, because we're going to hopefully, hopefully fight against... How? Oh no, I forgot all about how. Garden! Please don't tell me you want to fight. I heard the news from Sophocles. You helped him out with the testing to kind, yeah? That totem calling machine or whatever. I guess so. I was test subject number two, but I managed to get through the trial. Maybe even managed to get a bit stronger, eh? Here, Garden, I want you to take this. Oh, a max potion. Thank you so much for not killing me on the spot. You only have... Wait. Gladian voice. Gladian voice. Remember the voice. Remember the voice. You only have one volume, don't you? Haven't you ever heard the expression that silence is golden? I actually don't remember. That's his voice, but close enough. Gah! He's back! Listen. Team Skull is looking for a Pokemon called Cosmog. Do you two know anything? What? N not that we'd tell you! So you do know something. Look... Cosmog isn't even a strong Pokemon. But it has the power to summon Pokemon so terrifyingly strong that you don't even know. If something like that happened, it would be a disaster for Alola. A disaster? Like, a real disaster? Then what are we supposed to do about it? Protect it. If you know what Cosmog is, or if you do find anything out about it, just keep it safe. I know I might be working for Team Skull right now, so you may not trust me or care, but... I'm going to tell you this just once. You have to protect Cosmog, Nebby, no matter what. I still don't understand how Team Skull found out about Cosmog in the first place. What do you mean? No matter what? You just gonna leave us hanging, dude? Wow, what a weirdo. Garden, they're really looking for Cosmog, then is Lily gonna be okay? I don't really get what's going on, but we just gotta keep both of them safe, right? And I know what I'm gonna do. Take on my next trial so I can get even stronger. I'm gonna complete- yeah, okay, go on. Talk about that. Um, we got more pressing matters right now. That next trial is a doozy! Oh, man! I'm legitimately scared for that because, um... Oh, no, that's right! The Pokémon was left behind over here. Uh, yeah, because it's just an absolute nightmare. In my Moon playthrough, I got so destroyed by it, and that wasn't even a Nuzlocke. Woo! Oh, you're so cute, but that's so sad that your trainer is just waiting for you to come back. What a jerk. Um, hi. Uh, all right, well, you're not very exciting now, are you? No, you're not. In fact, actually, this whole area isn't very exciting. Uh, I guess I, oh, I guess I can't go to the desert just yet. I was thinking I could, but yeah, it looks like that's blocked off. Um, well, that's okay. Uh, I, I feel like someone's eyes are bringing it in the back of my head. It's giving me creeps. Nah, it's just you, buddy. Don't worry. Uh, hi. The high note desert is like nature's old maze, but they say you can find your way through if you keep a close eye on those stone stacks. Ah, uh, yeah. That's right. I don't really care about getting through there right now. I can't even go there right now. What? You got a prom short stuff? I can't stand guard even when I'm squatting. Well, okay, just want to make sure that, you know, you knew that there's an outhouse around somewhere. Um, Team Skull was born out of this old group that once formed around one of the old island kahunas. But that whole thing fell apart after they got smacked down by the wrath of the Tapu. I see. You can't go, or you can't know who will get named a kahuna or not, young, until you're chosen. Oh, uh, well. Choose me! I don't want to be a kahuna, actually. I changed my mind. I don't want to be. Don't do it. Um, alright, let's see. What, what the heck you think you're doing, huh? Did someone say you could come in here? Not that I'm doing anything in here. I haven't done nothing. You want to scrap? Yeah, let's fight. You, you what, what, mate? Uh, no. No, no, no. I ain't got time for you. I just beat you silly anyway. Not worth it. So, so I'll just leave you with this. Use it to train up and come back when you're worth of my time. Uh-huh. All right. Well, I got DM 12 taunt. Might actually help. Uh, hi. Woody Wood! Leaving. 
Um, alright, so yeah, this place is not very exciting at all. Not in the slightest. Um, <laughs> but, well, I guess I'll grab this. Uh, can I even get anything here? I don't even remember. I guess there's a fishing spot. But I already got Bruxish, so I don't think there's even anything I can get because I think there's only Magikarp and uh something else, right? Magikarp, Wishy Washy, and Bruxish, if I'm not mistaken, because that's like all you get everywhere ever. Well, so much for that. Boring route is over. <laughs> Seriously, that makes Route 1 look scenic. Oh, it's raining in Tapu Village, huh? Interesting. Uh, Tapu Village. The village is named that because the Tapu appeared here to protect Mount Lanakila, which reaches up so close to both the sun and moon. But all that's left of it now is the name. I see. Oh, it's Hao again. Oh, man. You know what? If he does want to fight, I don't think he fights here. But if he does, I probably should not lead with Trillium. I guess I'll lead with Lotus if I gain experience in the fight and level up. I just won't be able to use him. Um... Uh, for the rest of the fight, but it should be okay. I don't remember if I fight him here. I don't think I do. Phew, look, Garden. Seems like we're almost to Aether House. Or to the Aether House, where the cabin's supposed to be, huh? Hey, look, construction workers. That must be what Kakui was talking about. It's really making a Pokemon League up on top of Mount Lanakila. The professor told me that Pokemon Leagues in other regions have four crazy strong trainers in them that they call the Elite Four. The Elite Four in our island, Kahunas. I wonder which ones are stronger. I can't wait to find out. Okay, I just want to be sure. I don't remember if I have to fight him. Uh, do I have to go to the Aether House first? Dang, it's been a while since I played. <laughs> I guess, uh, maybe I do. Um, well, okay. Uh, I definitely want to hit up this Pokemon Center, though, because there's something I need to do. There's something that needs to be done. And someone I need for my team. <laughs> um, alright, so like I've kind of mentioned, this is a very, very scary fight for me. I'm quite nervous about it, knowing how badly I got wrecked before. So, I think I need a good strategy going forward here. And going up against a ghost fairy type, someone on my team would actually do pretty well against that. Well, not on my team, but like over here. Do you know who that is? Anyone? Not you. Uh, yeah, actually, Cotton. <laughs> I know you wouldn't think it, but actually, it isn't so much the type advantage as much as it is the debilitating factor. So I think Cotton is going to be brilliant in this fight with uh, Charm. Prankster Charm means I can lower that totem Pokemon's attack, like, right away. And that'll effectively debilitate it. Another option is potentially getting, uh... Getting, uh... Whatchamacallit? Safeguard. Because I can't heal status conditions in battle. So I might run into some trouble with that. So I think Cotton is coming back to the team. However, I don't want to put Cotton on the team just yet. Well, actually, I might as well. I could get rid of Yarrow for a little bit. Yarrow's at the level limit. Um, Flying type is handy, but not necessary. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do that. It's so weird to get rid of Yarrow. He's been on the team for such a long time. I will use him in the fight. It's just I don't want him to gain any experience right now by accident if I need a grass type. So, Cotton, looks like it's up to you, buddy. No, Cotton does get... Energy Ball at level 35, I found out. Can't get a TM for it, but I'm relatively close. However, I don't want to wait that long. Um, and it's not that necessary because I have Giga Drain. So, we're going to go ahead and evolve Cotton! Finally! What? Cotton is evolving. Oh, yeah. He's so adorable! Jeez, look at you! Okay, let's see what it has to say about you, huh? Aw, I love Whimsicott. 
Um, all right, let's take a look. Uh, it rides on the wind and slips into people's homes. After it has turned a home into a cotton-filled mess, it giggles to itself and takes off. That's just silly. Ah, okay, well, great. I'm glad that you evolved, finally. Because I know I wasn't thinking I'd be able to at one point, but yeah, clearly that was a mistake. Um, all right, so the Eviolite will no longer work on you, but that's okay. You should still have enough defense and stuff to kind of handle things. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's fine. Um, I mean, not super great stats all around, but at least sufficient defense to take a hit or two. Kind of. Uh, well, I mean, it'll get the job done. Okay, so, um, yeah, Charm is really going to be helpful here, and I think I maybe want to get rid of Stun Spore. If I recall, that totem has a Lumberry, um, so let's just see what kind of TM moves you can use, Cotton. Uh, Light Screen could be very handy. Uh, oh, actually, Psychic might be very handy, too, for taking out those Haunter. Taunt could be handy. Actually, Psychic might not be that bad. That is an option. Oh, man. Okay, let's do a little test here. How fast are you? You are 65 speed, and you are 70 speed. So, theoretically, you should be able to outspeed and hit the Haunter with Psychic. They don't have a lot of special defense, so... Maybe just Psychic will be fine. I don't know how I'm going to handle the Mimikyu, though. Spoilers! I fight a Mimikyu, but, you know. You should know that already. Alright, let's see. Oh, yeah! I think I get an encounter here, right? Oh, I have to go to Aether House. But, it's not too out of the way, so let's go ahead and... Well, actually, let me get my encounter right now. In fact, since Cotton's back on the team... Actually, wait! The encounter that I want would uh, kind of wreck Cotton here. So, let's instead use, actually, Aster. All right, here we go. So, my encounter for this route, or this area, Tapu Village, is... Snorunt, okay. Uh, not what I wanted, I wanted Vulpix, I'm not going to lie, but... Snorunt is fine, although, unfortunately, it's, well, actually, no, that's not so bad. It's male, but I already have a ghost type with Aster, so, honestly, I probably wouldn't go with Frostlass anyway. Um, all right, so I guess Flaylee could be interesting. Ish, kind of, I don't, I don't know. Could have been Vulpix, though. All right, well, that's okay, that's fine. Um, anyway, we got Snorun, yay! That's good news. Good job, Aster. You did nothing other than just stare at it, but that's okay. All right, Snorun, what does it have to say about you, huh? Uh, Snow Hat Pokemon. Their numbers seem to have rapidly increased in Alola. Custom has it that it houses or custom has it that houses where Snorunt live will be prosperous for generations to come. Well, that's great. Okay, I gotta go give this thing a nickname. I'm gonna go consult my list, and I will see you in just a moment. Well, to be honest, that didn't take much time. And we're going to call you Snowdrop, for rather obvious reasons. Alright, um, let's see. Let's take a look at you. I don't really know what Glalie's all about. If I recall Glalie, it's, like, extremely average across the board, so... I guess you'd be a physical Glalie, right? That's actually probably fine, because you have Crunch. This isn't terrible. It's not unforgivable. Um, all right, well, cool. Ah, cool. Uh, anyway, let me put you away. We're not using you right now. Okay, let's go to the house. I don't really care about the rest of the route, to be honest. I just want to get to the house and then get out of here. Wait, do I have to fight anyone in the house? I don't think so. Well, only one way to find out. Oh, Cotton needs an item. You know what? Let me give Cotton the Grassium Z just for right now in case I need it. I'll probably replace that with something later. I, 
have an idea what. I don't know, it depends on what route I want to go when dealing with those haunters. Uh, alright, let's open this door. <laughs> so I know that that's an Oranguru now, but I did not know what that was the first time I came in here. I thought it was like, I don't know, some big lady with purple hair or something. Wait up, Garden, so this is the Aether House, or Aether House, huh? Strangers! Oh man, that's right, I forgot I had to fight these little squirts. Okay, we'll fight these squirts. I think it's a double battle, too, if I'm not mis- No, it's not. Alright, well, whatever. Um, Alakid. Well, okay. Um, Aster, I- I think you could probably handle this thing. I hope so. Uh, let's go for... Maybe not, I don't know. Uh, we're going to go for Psychic anyway. Electro Ball. Uh, uh, I don't really care for that, pal. Don't really care for it. I think we'll be okay, though. Thunder Punch, Oh. Whoa, all right, um... Thankfully, a ghost can't die again, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, all right, anyway, I took care of that, youngster. Such a random fight, okay. I tried really hard, I am a kid, you know? Then he went and killed all my Pokemon. Ew, so I won, yeah? Then why is this little fellow still gnawing at me? Uh, I don't know. I'm back, everybody! <laughs> Looks like I finished my shopping spree right on time. You've already met everyone. Oh yeah, we met all right, in battle anyway. But hey, where's Lily? I left her with Happy Bot. They should be coming soon. So why don't we get those trials done first? You did know I'm the captain, right? Nah, really? Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, my trial takes place at that abandoned old site where that abandoned old supermarket used to be. I'll wait out front of the ether house to show you the way if you'd like. Yeah, sure. Um, can I do anything over here? Uh, sure. Get the balloons. Oh, wait, it's just a Zygarde thing. I don't need that. Although I guess I could start thinking about that soon. I could potentially get Zydog. That'd be nice. Uh, hold on a second. Oh, what? I can't go in this bunk bed. Oh, that's weak. Weak, weak, place stinks. Oh, what, what do you think you're doing? Stop it, stop it right now. For real, girl, your bag was moving right in front of my eyes, and I'm just supposed to ignore that? If you got some rare Pokemon in there, I'm gonna have to take it to make some cash. Even if it's not that rare of a Pokemon, I bet I could still get paid, yo. Yo, you better stop that. Got in. Oh, so we're following the script, are we? A trainer that dashes forward to save the girl, huh? I'm not gonna let you be the hero in the scene because I'm the villain, if you know what I mean. Uh-huh, oh man, I should have healed. Whoops. Uh, okay, let's do this. Team Skullgrunt. What do we got? Drowsy, yeah. Um, that's okay. I'm gonna switch out anyway. All right, Aster. Uh, we gotta get you out of here. We definitely gotta get you out of here. Uh, let's send out. Actually, I don't really know who to send out. Um, let's go with Heather and Bite. We'll see how that works. They got a few options. Level 33, though. That's kind of... Kind of strong, really. Psybeam. Oh, man. Nope. Not appreciating that very much. Um... Let's bite. Ooh. Could you, like, flinch, please? Yeah! There we go! Good dog! Good Heather! There we go. Ooh. 
and Aster even leveled up. I guess I probably should evolve him, huh? Yeah, I did say level 30. Okay, I'll do it. Um... When I saw that adorable drowsy, that was enough for me! Later! I don't believe in corpses, yo! I would like horses! Crew, thank you, Garden. I just wanted to go for a stroll on my own to see what it must feel like to be a trainer. So Hapu and I went our separate ways, but then Nebby tried to get out of my bag. Didn't you? Go on, you little troublemaker. You better thank Garden, too. <laughs> oh, and, um, when I was out shopping, I kept thinking about how I wanted to be some help to you during your island challenge, and then I saw these. Yeah, luxury balls. That's really helpful. Actually, those would be nice to catch things with. I bought them without even thinking. That happens to me all the time. Oh, Lily. Hi, <laughs> what's the matter? You look all worn out. Do you want to rest in either house a while? Oh, Acerola, thank you. I think I may take you up on that. And you, Garden, we can reach my trial site from Tapu Village. Come on, follow me. All right, great. Whew, this is going to be a doozy. Um, all right, but I should probably keep to my word and evolve uh, Aster. Although I probably should get out of here first. Uh, yeah, let me go over to the Pokemon Center and heal up. Oh man, this is going to be pretty dangerous. Oh man, it's going to be very dangerous. Uh, this is a run killer for sure. Like. It, I'm still afraid of that from the moon adventure. It did so much damage and no Z moves are super effective against it. So you don't even have that. It has plus one in every stat, but not mistaken. So it's just really darn strong. Uh, anyway, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, trade if I can figure out how to do that. I think I have to go to Festival Plaza. So I guess I had to get in there at some point anyway, but I'm going to trade to evolve Aster. We'll do that. Uh, I actually have a second 3DS capture, so I might even be able to capture the recording of it or capture the evolution. I don't know, we'll have to see. Anyway, give me just a moment. I'm going to, to uh, get that all set and I'll see when the trade is about to begin or when it's begun or something. All right, so here we go. I am recording now from my moon adventure version that I was just talking about. I'm just gonna trade this random Eevee over for uh, for Aster. And we should see the evolution on the screen now. So let's go ahead and do this. No Eevee light shenanigans this time. Oh yeah, here we go. See ya Eevee. <laughs> Oh yeah. I have to say, the new trade screen is pretty cool. Very colorful, that's for sure. Yay! All right, time to watch Aster's evolution. Okay, here we go, here we go. Yeah, there we go. We got Aster. Ready for some action. All right, let's see what it has to say about Aster, since I don't think it will, uh, don't think it'll show up on my sun version now, but we'll take a look at the moon version. All right, it apparently wishes for a traveling companion. Since it was once human itself, it tries to create one by taking the lives of other humans. Wait, what? Oh, that's crazy. And wants to learn Shadow Punch. Uh, that's really not necessary. It's not very good. Okay, actually, apparently it does still show the Pokedex data. I did not know that. Um, anyway, let's see what it has to say over on Sun. Should you feel yourself attacked by a sudden chill, it is evidence of an approaching Gengar. There is no escaping it. Give up. Wow, talk about defeatist. 
Dang. All right, so I did the trade. I'm all set. Let's take a look at Aster, the Gengar now, who does not need this Eviolite. And who doesn't have Levitate anymore. That's right. That's so bizarre. That's going to take me a while to get used to. Um, but I guess it's okay. Uh, all right. So, yeah, those are all right stats. Much better special attack. Still pretty good speed. Um, I'll take it. I almost wonder if I would have been better at keeping Astra as a haunter. Oh, well. Now I don't have to worry about people asking, When are you evolving him? Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Why don't you evolve him right away? <laughs> I just like to wait a little bit when I'm doing Nuzlocke's for trade evolutions. It just feels a little bit more right, I guess. Um, all right, so the trial is up ahead. That is scary. Uh, Mimulus, I don't think is going to do that well. I'm thinking beat up might be nice, but the thing is Mimulus will be outsped and then brutally murdered by uh, Play Rough. Actually, maybe not. If I could pull off beat up, that could be pretty good, but it's still pretty risky. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's any other good options here. Let me take a look at my PC and see if there's anyone else. I don't really want to train up too much. I think we're pretty much where we're at. Um, actually, I don't think there's really any other trainers. Yarrow would be good in this fight. Um, yeah, I think that will probably be fine. I mean, having a normal type... Wouldn't hurt with Verbena here. Ver Verbena? Ver I don't actually remember how it was. Wait, do I have it? One second. Verbena, that's right. Verbena. I have it written down, pronunciations that it's like, oh, okay, how do I pronounce that again? I'm glad that I did, because it actually helped in this instance. Verbena. Um, okay, but yeah, so Yarrow would be a good option for sure. I just don't think Mimulus is going to do that much. Lotus, at least, I don't know, isn't weak to any of those things. Uh, Heather has Bite, but that's still pretty risky, but Intimidate. Yeah, I don't know. This is kind of interesting. Um, I guess I'll probably just go with what I have. Actually, let me swap out Mimulus for... Uh, for Yarrow. We're, we're gonna update the sidebar to put Yarrow in his rightful place. Sorry about that, Cotton. There we go. Okay, okay. So we'll leave you in here for now, Mimulus. I don't know how we're going to arrange all this. I guess I have seven Pokemon now on my team, right? <laughs> oh, but you know what? That is okay. Um, all right. Let me go ahead and do this. I'm really nervous. Really nervous, but you know what? We'll get through it. We will. We got it. We don't have any other option but to get through it. So let's give you the... I actually don't know. I don't think there's any good options. Maybe like a Lumberry. I have one Lumberry. I probably should plant that, to be honest. Um, Is there anything else that might help even just a little bit? Spell tag. No, you don't even have any. Oh, you're going to be getting uh, Shadow Ball, so this actually might not be that bad. Yeah, let's give you that. And let's give you. Wait, who needs. Yeah, we gotta give Yarrow the Eviolite. That's a given. Okay, there we go. Um. There we go. Oh, man. All right. All right. It's getting real now. It is getting real. This is going to be interesting. Uh, the question is... Oh, wait. Do I have enough potions? I want to make sure that I get some potions to heal uh, between the fights. I guess I can just buy some. What do you got? Uh, what do you got? Come on. <laughs> I don't need to be told I have this and that. Okay. I have, like, three hyper potions. Oh, I did just get some max potions, so I should be fine. Uh, let me just buy a few super potions for healing between fights, and, um, oh, I guess I already have potions. My bad. Well, let's get some of these. There we go. Uh, anything else? I can't use status healing items in battle, so that's going to stink. Oh, I want to get a TM. That's right. Let me, uh, fly really fast, because I think I want to go with, uh, um, 
safeguard. Oh, finally, I got that light clay that I needed. Uh, yeah, that took a while. For being 50% chance of being encountered, Mudbray is pretty rare. <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, man. Anyway, this light clay is the secret sauce to this battle. At least that's what I hope. Um, I want to give that to Cotton, actually. So that way, that'll extend the, uh, the duration of... Uh, safeguard. And, you see, safeguard will help to prevent those status conditions that I think will end up ruining me if I leave those unchecked. Because those Haunter in the fight, oh man, are they annoying. Okay, so we're going to get rid of... I'm going to get rid of growth. I know I keep saying, oh, I'll just keep it. You know, I really don't use it that often. And I really would rather have both Charm and Stun Spore. Although, I don't know. Maybe I should get rid of Stun Spore. Well, nah, let's get rid of Growth. Alright, there we go. So, Safeguard. Hopefully this helps. Oh man, I'm still kind of nervous about it. Uh, we gotta give Aster the Spell Tag, too. Oh man, I know what's going to be the end of Aster. That's going to be me forgetting Aster does not have Levitate. I'm calling it right now. Ugh, all right, I'm going back to, uh, back to wherever. I'll see you in a moment. All right, well, let's get on over to, uh, over here. The old supermarket's where I hold, where I hold my child's right down this way, down Route 14. Okay, well, I guess we're going this way then. Ah, Route 14, a lovely beach with black sand. Not dangerous at all. Um, all right, let me grab the item over here that I totally, <laughs> I remember trying to get to that in my first playthrough and I didn't know how. Uh, I mean, I ended up getting it, but it's like, oh, how do I get up there? Uh, okay, let's see. So, this is going to be, oh, do I want to fight that guy? I don't know if I want to fight him. Hmm. Um, oh, you know what? I really should get rid of, um, Thief. I think I should get rid of that for, I guess, I don't even know. I got rid of Sucker Punch because I don't think it's going to help. I guess Shadow Claw. <laughs> I don't get uh, Shadow Ball until after the trial, if I'm not mistaken, so that's really unfortunate. Um, all right, let's get rid of Thief. Oh, I didn't even heal Psychic. Uh, yeah, I should probably do that. You know what? I will be right back. Oh my gosh, this episode is going to drag on forever, I tell you. Um, or at least for me. So, I was wondering if Aster would be able to get Shadow Ball. And the answer is yes at level 33, which is the level limit. So, I do need to train. I'm going to train up Aster. And, uh, actually, maybe I could do Aster and Cotton at the same time with the experience share, and that might help. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I think I should be able to train Cotton somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna find somewhere to train, and I will see you in a moment. Okay, I'm literally a derp, so I, uh, I mistook... The, uh, actually, I just completely was mistaken. It's not after beating the trial, it's right over there! Derp? Derp a derp. I'm getting ahead of myself here. <laughs> um, I should be okay. I mean, obviously, a few extra levels will help, but I don't think they're going to make all the difference in the world. Uh, so let me grab this. There we go! Oh, man, I remember it being over here, and I thought I got it afterwards, but while looking up areas to train, it's like, wait a second! Wait a second. Okay. Whoa. Hold up. Cotton gets Shadow Ball. Oh, man. That's some really good news. Cotton, you just keep getting better and better. All right. So now the problem. What do I get rid of for Shadow Ball? Uh, that is a definite move I need. I'm going to have to get rid of Stun Spore. I don't really want to, but it's not actually that helpful. Shadow Ball will be amazing in this fight. 
Yeah, we gotta do it. And besides, that Mimikyu has a uh, Lumberry anyway, if I'm not mistaken. Or a Chesto Berry. Something that prevents... Well, I guess Chesto wouldn't affect Stun Sport, but I think it's a Lumberry. I think so. Oh, there's a guy there. I don't really want to fight him right now. I just want to get through this episode, okay? That's what I want. It's not that hard to do, right? Okay, so let's get this over with. This place is creepy. Whoa, this guy. I don't want to fight this guy. Uh, I mean, I'll fight him in a moment. I just, we're running out of time. That's what it boils down to. <laughs> That's really what it boils down to. All right. Here we are. Climb up these steps and my trial begins. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Am I all set? Yeah, I guess so. Probably should train more, but... Honestly, I don't think the three levels are going to make that much of a difference anyway. Uh, okay, let's see. It takes an eternity. The time has finally come, Garden. So I guess I should explain what kind of trial this is, huh? This old building is full of lots of ghost-type Pokemon, don't you know? Here's where the trial part comes in. You've got to find the totem Pokemon of this site and snap a shot of it with a Pokefinder. The totem is a bit of a trickster and it likes to play hide and seek and mess around. If you take pictures of the other ghost-type Pokemon inside, it'll definitely come out to get in on the fun and have its photo taken too. All right, let's do this. Uh, yeah. Stop touching my Rotom decks though. Okay, 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 fine, we're doing it, we're going in, it's still a bit creepy, but let's get this trial going. Let's do it! Trial start! Oh, man. So, again, I don't actually get any encounters here until after the trial is over. Uh, oh, a conveyor belt started moving all by itself. Spooky. Uh, so, alright, here's an issue. Using, um, you know, my ghost type, and the way I look at it, if I don't knock it out, I probably won't get knocked out myself. So we're just going to have to hope that this works. Wait, right? You don't have, like, a bad nature, do you? Uh... Yeah, you, you should be fine, although that is low special defense. Uh... We'll see how it goes. All right, let's do this with a Poke Finder. Uh, all right. Whoop, that wasn't it. Uh, oh, hi, what's up? That's the spirit. Ah, I see what you did there, Rotom. Oh, no, the Pokemon spotted you. Well, it's just a Ghastly, so it shouldn't be a problem. Although, I do think I have to fight a Gengar here. That could be a bit scary. I don't know if I want Aster to fight another Gengar. Haunter, I could probably handle. Level 30, Ghastly. Okay, so Shadow Ball should knock it out, right? Darn well better. Oh, right, I do have plus 20%, so I have a feeling it'll be a, a one-hit KO anyway. Uh, oh, there's Pikachu. Let me take a Pikachu, Pikachu. Oh, in the shopping cart. All right, that's fine. Uh, let's fire up the Poke Finder. Uh, oh, it's ha ha haunter. Got ya. Got ya! Okay, can I one hit KO haunter? Actually, for the next time, I should use, um, cotton to see how much I'm doing with Shadow Ball. Because if that would be a one hit KO, that'd be excellent. Alright, Shadow Ball. Let's do it! Oh, yeah. No problem. But, of course, I have to worry about getting knocked out with Shadow Ball, so, yeah. Um, kind of a double-edged sword there. Okay, so that's that. Looks like Pikachu's running off. Um, so, let's lead with Cotton. And let's just see kind of what happens here. Uh, where did it go? Hello? Is anyone here? This is still one of the creepiest places in the game. To be honest, I think Potown is a little creepier, but this is still... Spooky! Spooky ghosts everywhere! Alright, let's take a picture. 
And uh, let's see. Oh, man. Uh... Oh, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Where are you? Like, where'd you go? I saw you over there. Hello? Hello? Oh, hi. Alright, let's see how much Shadow Ball does, and hopefully it doesn't just wreck everything. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, actually, it might not even have Shadow Ball itself. I don't know why I'm worried. Yeah, it probably doesn't. So, let's go for Shadow Ball and just get an idea of how much I'm doing. I outspeed it, which is nice. Uh, yeah, 2 hit KO, that's kind of what I thought, kind of what I was expecting. Not perfect, but, you know. Okay, Cotton, it is going to need to be your time to shine. We have to really pull off some strategy here. That's a lot of experience. Noise. Okay, it's running in there. Um, I need to heal just a little bit now. Let's use these potions. Yes, a potion for two hit points. So worth it right now. Um. Oh, man. Should I put that lumberry on anyone? This music, though, it's so creepy! Uh, no, I don't need the Lumberry because I'm going with Safeguard. I think we'll be fine. All right, well, it's up to Cotton right about now. And everyone else, too. Like, this is not going to be just Cotton. We're going to have to fight a lot. Ugh. All right. Here goes nothing. You didn't do a thing, but the lock clicked open. Uh-oh. I love this part. You can feel a pair of eyes sizing you up. The Poke Finder fired up all on its own. Okay. Uh. Oh, look at that picture. <laughs> oh, Pikachu, Pikachu. Uh. Another Pikachu. Pikachu. That almost doesn't look like a Pikachu, I'm just saying. Oh, that's awesome! Is that... <laughs> it's Ash and Pikachu! I never noticed that, or at least I don't think I did. Maybe I did in the first one, I don't know. Uh... Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Creepy! <laughs> Oh man, it's Totem Mimikyu, and this thing is a monster. I can only hope that my strategy will work. Uh, all right, Cotton, it's time to do your thing. Oh my gosh, that is a big Mimikyu too. Okay, so we gotta do this just right. So let's go ahead and charm this thing. And hopefully it's not going to still do too much damage. Uh, Mimic. Oh, yeah, you, oh, actually, that could be bad. Uh, oh, man, now it can charm me. I didn't even think about that. It mimicked me. Mimic you, mimic me. Uh, okay, so now we got to set up safeguard, because I know what that haunter likes to do. It likes to spam hypnosis. But we'll have plenty of turns now to, uh, not worry about that, really. Okay, how much is Play Rough doing? Oh. Okay, okay. So far, so good. Still risking it, but I'm going to continue that risk. We have to charm Mimikyu one more time. Uh, then I'm going to heal. All right, there we go. So Mimikyu is a lot less of a threat right now. Ugh. Okay, so Hyper Potion. Let's do this thing. And then we're just gonna have to, I don't know, I guess whittle away Mimikyu. I don't have Stun Spore anymore.
Uh, yeah, that's doing very little in the big picture. I'm surprised Haunter doesn't have Shadow Ball. I thought for sure it did. Okay, well, that's fine. That is very fine. Um, let's see how much this does. I have a feeling it's not going to do very much, though. Oh, right! It's not going to do anything <laughs> because of the disguise. I knew there was one other thing you had to do, but it's okay. We got the, the special defense drop, which is very fortunate here. Okay, I need to heal once again. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, actually, I could have used a super potion. Oh, well, whatever. I got money. It's okay. All right. Oh, man. Um. All right, we got to set up safeguard once again. <laughs> I haven't even done any damage. This is pretty sad, but at the same time, I feel like it is going fairly well. Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, no, that's fine. Attack's down. Okay, uh, we gotta switch out right now. For... I'm gonna give Yarrow a try, actually. I think that might work with, uh, Shadow Claw. Probably a little bit better than Cotton. At least I hope so. Okay, um, play rough. Not very much at all, that's nice. Oh man, that charm was such a good idea. Okay, how much am I going to do to this Mimikyu? It does have extra defense, so... Oh, Sucker Punch, that's not good. Oh, that wasn't a problem. Oh no, charm! Oh, that's bad. Okay, I gotta get some crits, that's what I need. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, we got a problem here. We got a problem here. Uh, yeah, Yero, you're just gonna need to roll the dice and get a crit. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, so that can do, like, 30 damage at any moment. Or 27 damage at any moment. There we go! There we go! That's the crit! Yeah! Good job, Yero. Okay, we gotta heal once again. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Hyper Potion. Two hit points might make the difference. You never know. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm not protected by safeguard. This is very bad. Uh, this is very bad, but hopefully I can get a good hit in on Mimikyu. Before Haunter starts getting nasty. Oh, it didn't even go for Hypnosis. Oh, man. Yarrow, hang in there. Uh-oh. We got a problem. Um... Okay, so I have an idea. No, I don't. Yeah, I do. No, I don't. What do you have? Skull, dive. I just want to do something that can hit multiple things. Unfortunately, Bulldoze isn't going to work because Haunter still has the one. I don't want to switch for Aster because that's not good. Heather... I don't think we'll resist it enough. Um, we got to send out someone else. Because if Yarrow gets put to sleep, we're in trouble. Although, for that matter, if whoever I send out gets put to sleep, we're in trouble, too. Okay, so I'm just going to heal. I'm just going to heal. I hope I don't get put to sleep. That's my big worry at this point. Because then everything's for nothing. Shadow Claw. Ooh. That has the potential to be bad. Very bad. Um, okay, I gotta take this Mimikyu out. Sucker Punch, not good. 
Uh, charm again. Well, I mean, I pretty much need a crit anyway. And got it, yeah! That is awesome, you're so good, Yero! Woo, all right, the threat is out of here now. That thing was so scary, but I tell you, that strategy was great. Okay, now we can just Shadow Claw this Haunter. Actually, I really shouldn't be doing this. Because I'm charmed, but eh, it's okay. Let's see, we'll just have you finish the fight anyway. Oh, no, I guess not. Okay, well, we got a switch. I wish. No, I didn't get a switch. <laughs> Darn it. At least not yet. Um. Okay, well. What do we do? Uh, this thing seems to be rather physical, so... You know what? I don't want to chance it. Let's send out Trillium. Actually. Sucker Punch, Lick, Nightshade, Aster, I think it's going to use... Well, I don't know why it used Sucker Punch, but... Oh, man, it's just not safe to switch you out. Okay, let's switch out Trillium. There we go. Oh, okay, so I could have switched out Aster after all. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, let's see. You know what? I know Faint Attack is super effective, but Scald will actually do a little bit more. Well, it has a chance of burning. Oh, no! Okay. Man, that safeguard really made a difference. That I'm so glad I did that, because that just gave me the turns I needed to weaken Mimic you. Uh, all right, does this thing have, like, Dream Eater by any chance? Is that what's going on? No. Yeah, we're, we're not gonna... Oh, wow! Way to go, Trillium! Yeah, don't take any of that from that honor. Nice! Oh, man, wants to learn Beat Up. Oh, that would have been helpful just a moment ago. Well, kinda. Um, you know what? That could be more fun than Fain Attack. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. I don't know if it's better or not, but... Eh, it's just kinda interesting. Like, Fain Attack isn't really on my top moves list or anything. Oh, man! Vengeance has been served! <laughs> oh, jeez. Because that just, that wrecked me so badly in the, uh, in my moon adventure. It just was so bad. And I guess now kind of having an idea of what to do against it, that was really helpful. But yeah, safeguard, light clay, and charm. Oh, man. And crits. <laughs> that definitely helps. Welcome back, Garden. I can check your pictures right away. Now, let's see how you did. Yeah, that's Mimic you, all right. It's pretty hard to catch it on film. So this is a really great attempt, which means... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sweet, I did it. So awesome. The ghost DMZ. If you want to use a ghost type Z bar, then you gotta move like this. Spooky! And since you've passed my trial garden, you now have my permission to catch Pokemon in the trial site. So in that old building there, here you go. Oh, 10 dust balls. I knew I got something from her, but I, I thought I was... Oh, well, whatever. It's not a bad idea to have some ghost-type Pokemon on your team. Yeah, don't say. What's that? You say the Pokefinder just started up on its own during your trial. Oh, cut it out, Garden. You're trying to scare me, huh? You'll have to come up with something a bit more believable than that. 
There's not any, even any room in the back of that shop for starters. How gullible do you think I am? What? I feel like I'm getting chicken skin. Like a chill going through me for some reason. Whoa! Hold up. Hold up. Oh, man. Anyway, I'm going to catch the link of the trial later. I've been recording for, like, way too long. So I hope you enjoyed. I'm glad we got through it. And I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke. See you next time, Mimikyu. Woo!